Warning, resin is a toxic material and extremely harmful for the respiratory system. When airborne during sanding, grinding or drilling. The dust when breathed in can cause short and long term health problems, including cancer. Please use a particle or dual organic respirator. Thank you. Hello and welcome to another modelling video. If the intro didn't scare you and you have a bit of a taste for resin, I've been putting off this work in progress for the past six months. A lot of you people who have been following me for a while really did enjoy this series and I'd like to get her over and done with. So to the people new to this channel, check out the playlist and you'll be able to see the other videos. For the rest of you, check it out. From where we've left off, we've had three videos, an unboxing, washing the release agent of this kit, since it is resin and an authentic garage kit, and the last video we were sanding the larger pieces and ready for a test fit. After the trouble I've already had, to my surprise, the pieces are very flush and fit together very, very well. There's going to be an absolute minimal need for filling seam lines, so that makes me quite pleased. Plus, putting some of the pieces together as a dry test run, this kit looks quite effective, and I think I'm going to definitely enjoy the painting process. With some half mil chicken wire, a drill bit set, and a pin vise, I'm planning on drilling a hole on either side of the wings and the fuselage and pinning them together since you've got such a, a decent surface area yet it's quite thin and I'm afraid that how brittle the plastic is is gonna make it snap easily so this is going to be anchored deep into the resin. First I'm gonna clear out the existing keys on the wing then drilling a hole using the pin vise. I'm going to be drilling where I remove the key since it's already marked on the kit where the two pieces meet and saves on relining issues. Also have to be careful when drilling not to penetrate all the way through and leave marks or scars on the plastic as I'll have to fill this later. On the fuselage half I'm free to drill all the way through as this deeper area is going to be where the anchoring will take place with the pin and we'll glue the pin into the wing since there's less foothold space. Once the wire is cut to shape, we're going to be only using super glue into the wing. The strength only needs to be applied to the join and in the fuselage, which will you be using epoxy glue for. Now we should have a very nice snug fit and also should allow a while for the piece to set. Now we're free to have an equal mix of epoxy glue and apply it into the little hole and onto the two surfaces when we're sandwiching it together. A little excess is good to fill any sort of seam line that's going to peel which we can mop up once clamped together. Keep pressure on it for a little while. After a bit of drying I've noticed there's still a bit of a gap so I applied a tiny bit of squadron and smoothed it out to make sure there's no remnants of a seam line which this seems to be the only form of seam line that's going to appear on this kit. All the other pieces are very cleverly disguised in being actual armour joining lines. So the rest of the kit should be quite a breeze and they're all large surfaces pointing to each other so no more pinning will be required, luckily. I'm starting to have to use the small pieces that I haven't washed or cleaned so after doing that quickly I super glued the turbines in due to being flat surfaces. Then being very careful I applied super glue around the turbine and slipped on the turbine covers or the jet covers. This was yet another very snug and very easy piece to glue together and another step in for this craft taking shape. The next process was gluing these left and right panels on top of the aircraft. They had their own keys and holes to already fit in and also fit quite well. 
I used the epoxy putty for extra strength this time around though they did take a little um, fiddling around and making sure that they fit well with the under large jets or the actual legs of the Valkyrie once I was fiddling around with them enough and had them in place they glued together very well and the excess epoxy made sure there wasn't any gaps whatsoever after that I had to glue these little tail fins on the leg piece or again rear thrusters and this was real real pain there was the tiniest of tiny slot for where they belong and no keys or way to fit I eventually pinned them together in the correct position with super glue which took a hell lot of fiddling and then reinforced it later with some epoxy but applied a tad too much glue so later on there was quite a bit of sanding and rescribing involved yet they were strong enough for that very paper thin piece now for the moment I do not want these leg pieces or lower thrusters glued to the main body for ease of painting and masking and the same with the very end thruster pieces that sit on top of that which will be shown later I'm going to mask the areas off so later on they'll be epoxied with bare resin on top of each other because it's not too good to glue pieces together when they're painted because only the paint or the primer is bonding and not the actual surface area just a recheck by plugging in the rear thrusters and having a look at the silhouette of the plane everything looks straight and okay together which I'm fairly pleased with the outline of it right now the absolute end thrusters is just a butt joint and hole so that actually snaps together quite well and can just super glue in at the final end of the construction once painted and this is the look of the aircraft so far I really appreciate the detail and the deep engraving but I have to apologize that I've lost the footage for the construction of the cockpit it wasn't too bad I was displeased with the front piece so I'm slowly scratch building something for that and they just super glued straight in this is the conclusion of the build and test sequence to this work in progress tutorial next we're going to be looking at the canopy it's a vac form piece of polyurethane well I think it is and that needs to be cut up clean and prepared for this kit and I also have to work with the landing gear which I'm extremely displeased with it's very very thin and being made out of resin that's extremely brittle so I'm going to be looking at removing components and scratch building some parts with metal while still keeping that detail thank you for watching and until next time